How's it going, guys? House of the Dragon, episode 10. It is finally time. I don't really have too much to say before it starts. Other than uh, when I was at work today, I was thinking about the story. And I was, uh, I got to wondering, what becomes of Allison? Like, she was the queen, but now that a new king is crowned, what is her title? And what kind of power does she have? I'm sure I'll find out. Let's get into it. The table is a map. Uh, I've seen that table before, but I did not realize that there was a map on it. Drift mark. It can't be Lord of the Tides. Grandsire was the greatest sailor who ever lived. I get green sick before the ship even leaves the harbor. I'll just ruin everything. I don't want Driftmark. It should have passed on to Sir Baymond. We don't choose our destiny, Luke. It chooses us. Grandson, I let you choose whether you be his heir. You told us so. And do you want to know the truth of it? Did you? I was four and ten. Same as you are now. I wasn't ready to be Queen of the Seven Kingdoms, but it was my duty. Princess Rhaenys has just arrived on Dragonback. She urgently requests an audience with you and Prince Daemon. Princess Rhaenys, I gotta remember her name. Princess Rhaenys, might we hope for news of Lord Corlys's recovery? Viserys is dead. Came out with that. I grieve this loss with you, Rhaenyra. My cousin, your father, possessed a kind heart. There is more. Egon has been crowned as his successor. <laughs> Didn't know that was going to happen. Oh, I, I forgot he, he was pregnant. Him. How did Viserys die? I could not say. How long ago? She Today past can't go two, I was made a prisoner in my quarters while the Queen pregnant. made her preparations. Viserys has been slain. Alison demanded you declare for Aegon. She did. I refused her. And yet you are alive. The High Septon crowned Egon in the Dragon Pit. I witnessed it myself just before I fled on Melis. They crowned him before the mass. So that before the mass would see him as their rightful king. And the war before it started. You murdered my Sorry. brother and stole his throne, and you could have burnt them all for it. A war is like to be fought over this treachery, to be sure. Mm. But that war is not mine to begin. I only rushed this warning to you out of loyalty to my husband uh. and to my house. The Greens are coming for you, Rhaenyra. I would say... And for your children. That they already started the war. You should leave Dragonstone at once. Oh, she's gonna miss Carrie. Baby's coming. <sighs> Our long term now. is far from complete. This should not be happening. It is fucking happening. Keep your head about you, princess. Keep calm. We've done this five times before. If the Greens attack now, it will be by stealth, not directly. We don't have enough men to surround the island, but we can make ourselves appear stronger than they are. Conscript the Dragon Keepers. They're capable fighters. 
Waste no time. It will be done, my prince. What was that? I'm sorry. You might go easier on him, my prince. So he can learn what you're trying to teach. Your lady oh, mother no. needs go to hard. see you. Both of you. Mother? Uh, oh, fuck. Egon has been crowned king. What is to be done about it? Nothing yet. And where is Damon? I don't know. Gone to madness. Gone to plot his war. Leave Damon with me. Jace. Gone to madness. Jesus. I mean, gone to strategize to defend you? Whatever claim remains to me, you are now its heir. Naught is to be done but by my command. I'll fly to the Rivellers myself and affirm Lord Tully's support. You will do no such thing. <laughs> my mother has decreed no action be taken while she's abed. Go away, kid. <laughs> Good you're here, young prince. You're needed to patrol the skies on Virmax. Did you hear what I said? The Ravens, Lord Bartimus. I shall see it done. Summon Sir Stefan. Our King's Guard are needed on the Dragon now. Come with me. I'll show you the true meaning of loyalty. Inaction can be just as bad as the wrong action. They come and you're not I'm ready. Sworn oath as knights of the King's Guard. I'm grateful for your long service to the Crown. So I'm presenting you with a choice. to Rhaenyra as your queen. To Prince Deceres as the heir to the Iron Throne. <laughs> or, if you support the usurper, speak it now. And you will have a clean and honorable death. But if you choose treachery, if you swear fealty now only to later turn your cloaks, know that you will die. I probably would have chose to do that a different way. I would have given them like a boat. I would have put them on that boat. And I would have been like, okay, here's what's going down. Aegon's been crowned, you know. I'm giving you the opportunity to choose. Either sail away. Go join them, or step off that boat and come and join us. That way you know. You give them the choice. Well, they... I mean, if you include the other choice, if you include death with that, it makes it a little harder for them to choose that, and you're not going to really know. But if you just be like, you can be on your way, you know, Go to the other side, or you can stay on our side. Then you know if they're going to be loyal to you or not. I mean, that's just my my thought on that. But. Get out! Princess, please. You should not do this alone, Princess. Oh, it's not breach like the other two cases of that we had so far on this show. Oh. They have to show that.
Oh, man, that is rough. Can you attribute that to the news that pretty much war is breaking out, that she learned that her father's dying or is dead and and war is about to break out? I mean no harm, brothers. Ah, just the twin that ran away. I thought it was going to be the uh, Lord Captain guy. Is that her father? I swear to ward the Queen. With all my strength. And give my blood for hers. My queen. Must be a history of Dragonstone, like, uh, oh, that's pretty sweet. Must be a, a history of war at Dragonstone, since they have, like, the battle board there, and they have all the species. First of her name. Queen of the Andals, For markers and stuff. Men. Lady of the Seven Kingdoms and Protector of the Realm. Again, Renice is not acknowledging. What is our standing? We have 30 knights, 100 crossbow men, and 300 men at arms. Dragonstone is relatively easy to defend, but as an instrument of conquest, our army leaves a lot to be desired. Lord Corliss sails for Dragonstone. To declare for his queen. <laughs> the Valarian fleet is in my husband's yoke. He decides where they sail. We shall pray for both you and your husband's support. Just as we prayed nightly for the sea to the, return to good health. But in the meantime, leave the There's room. No on the so would dare to make an enemy <laughs> of the Valarian fleet. So if he chooses the other side, and you'll know strategy. We have no friends among the Lannisters. <laughs> Tylen has served the hand too long to turn against him. And Otto Hightower no, needs the Lannister fleet. Without the Lannisters, we're not like to find any allies west of the Golden Tooth. No. The Riverlands are essential, Your Grace. Pray forgive my bluntness, Your Grace, but talk of men is moot. Your cause owns a power that has not been seen in this world since the days of old Valyria. Dragons. 
The greens have dragons. They have three. They might be about to talk about it right now, but that was that was the other thing I was uh, wondering at work. How many dragons does each side have, and what ability? Like, I don't know. They're shape different and different sizes. I don't know if they have different abilities, but levels of how powerful they are i would like to know like what at, at the very least how many dragons each side has how many viable dragons that's what i was thinking about at work the adults by my count we have cyrax caraxes and melees your sons have veermax arax and tyraxes Baylor has moon dancer damon none of our dragons have been to war there are also unclaimed dragons Sea Smoke still resides on Driftmark. Vermithor and Silverwind dwell on the Dragon Mount. Still riderless. Then there are the three wild dragons, all of whom nest here. And who is to ride them? Dragonstone has 13 to their four. Well, I also have a score of eggs incubating in the Dragon Mount. Surround so King's Landing with the dragons, and we could have every green head mounted on spikes before the fucking moon turns. <laughs> Your Grace. He's already he got battle for sure. A long galleon flying a banner of a three-headed green dragon. Alert the watchtowers. Sight the skies. I don't know if this looks familiar. I come at the behest of the Dowager Queen Alicent, mother of King Aegon, second of his name, lord and protector of the Seven Kingdoms. I've been directed to deliver her message only to Princess Rhaenyra. <laughs> Did you expect to not face a dragon coming here? Princess Rhaenyra. I'm Queen Rhaenyra now. And you all are traitors to the realm. King, and swear obeisance before the Iron Throne. In exchange, His Grace will confirm your possession of Dragonstone. It will pass to your true-born son, Jaceris, upon your death. I would rather feed my sons to the dragons than have them carry shields and cups. For right. your drunken usurper, come to the king. <laughs> Aegon Targaryen sits the Iron Throne. He wears the Conqueror's crown, wields the Conqueror's sword, has the Conqueror's name. He was anointed by a septon of the faith before the eyes of thousands. Every symbol of legitimacy belongs to him. Okay, you made that happen. The succession chains the day your father sired a son. I Wait. only regret that you and he were the last to see the truth of it. You are no more hand than Egon is king. Fucking traitor! Bye! Grand Maester. Fuck is this? Queen Alison has not forgotten the love you once had for each other. No blood need be spilled. The realm can carry on in peace. <laughs> All right. If you give us what we want, Queen Alison eagerly awaits your answer. We she have three now over stuck in her father's mouth, along with his withered cock. Let's end this mama's farm. Yeah. Sir Eric, bring me Lord Hightower so I may take the pleasure myself. Let's go. No. King's Landing will have my answer on the morrow. When dragons flew to war, everything burned. I do not wish to rule over a kingdom so of ash and bone. Are you considering the High Tower's terms, Your Grace? As Queen, what is my true duty to the realm, Lord Bartimus? Ensuring peace and unity, or that I sit the Iron Throne no matter the cost? That's your father talking. My father's dead. 
Just, and he chose me as his successor. I'm just about to say that is her father. Her father did not want to face war, did not want to do anything, just wanted to avoid war at all costs, basically. And now she is falling into that pattern. Should avoid war as much as possible, but there comes a point where it's unavoidable like when a piece of crap takes the the throne you know i mean have uh the dude standing behind her right now i'll take down the black so you can see the knight that ran away the one that was in the place where the kids were fighting he saw that stuff he knows what Aegon is uh capable of he should tell her that stuff he's followed Aegon around through his life of depravity and uh you know, seeing the things that he enjoys and the thing, his interests and everything. Tell her. She's being very reluctant, even though they've already pretty much, you know, it took the first shot. To defend the realm, not cast it headlong into war. The enemy have declared war. What are you going to do about it? Clear the room. Damon is very anxious. He's like, this stuff has happened, let's go. Let's, let's do this. Are you not angry? Well, I should declare war because I'm angry. No, because it's your duty as queen to crush rebellion. You know my oath reaches beyond our personal ambition. Song of Ice and Fire. What? The coming war against the darkness in the north, the conqueror's dream. Osara shared it with me when he named to me. Yeah. My brother was a slave to his omens and portents. Anything to make his feckless reign appear to have purpose. <laughs> Dreams didn't make us kings. Dragons did. <laughs> Trying to shock her out of... Shock her into action. I never told you. Like a slap. <laughs> Does he... So her father never told, when he made him the heir, never told him about the conquered dream. I, I still don't really get what that is, but all I know from it, or all I've gathered from it, hey, all I've gathered from it is an ultimate war is coming from the north that destroys everything and somebody has to hold the realm together to stand against it i mean that's that's pretty much all i've gathered from it they don't know when it's gonna happen uh, i don't know but right now with what's going on it's irrelevant i mean do you think Aegon is going to be able to stand against it Aegon don't even know about it so if you want somebody who's going to stand against it you want to be ready for it, you have to be on the throne anyway. So this man is all better, huh? I've had men whipped for falling asleep on their watch. You are no man. 
about your brother. <laughs> when I most needed you. Both our children are stolen from us. I needed you. Vela and Raina needed you, and you abandoned us for more adventure at sea. Your brother is also dead. <gasps> In his haste to bury you and claim your seat, he stood before the king and denounced Lainor's sons as illegitimate. Damon took his head for it. Heedless ambition has always been a Valarian weakness. You are right, Venice. I reached too far, and for nothing. Rhaenyra was complicit in our son's death. That girl destroys everything she touches. That girl is holding the realm together at present. Every man standing round the painted table urges her to plunge the realm into war. Rhaenyra is the only one who's demonstrated restraint. Easy words for a lord who commands from the safety of his castle. Doesn't make it the lord of the tide! Lord Corlys Valarian! How can you demonstrate and his restraint, wife, though? The Princess Rhaenys Targaryen. My lords. Lord Corlys. You're not going to prevent war. <laughs> You're not. I'm very sorry about your father, Princess. He was a good man. Where is Damon? <laughs> there were other concerns which demanded the prince's attention. Mm. Doesn't seem that upset about his brother. Your declared allies? Pope is the fool's ally. Both Aaron and Baratheon yeah. share blood with my house, but all of them swore oaths to me. As did House Hightower, if I remember. As did you, Lord Corlys. This Hightower treason cannot stand. You have the full support of our fleet and house. Hell yeah. Your Grace. Well, that's a big help, huh? You honor me, Lord Corlys. <laughs> Princess Rainey's. Good thing, too, because you were just looking at our battle but, plans. <laughs> as I said to my banner men, I made a promise to my father to hold the realm strong and united. War's first stroke is to fall, it will not be by my hand. You do not mean to act. Taking caution does not mean standing fast. I wish to know who my allies are before I send them to war. The triarchy have been routed. The narrow sea is ours. If we further seal the gullet, we can cut off all seaborne travel and trade. To King's Landing. Oh, yeah. I should take Nailis and patrol the gullet myself. Our King's Landing is right there, huh? When we drain the narrow sea, we can surround King's Landing, lay siege to the Red Keep, and force the Greens surrender. If we're to have enough swords to surround King's Landing, we must first secure the support of Winterfell, the Eyrie, and Storm's End. I'll prepare the Ravens, Your Grace. Dragons can fly faster than ravens, and they're more convincing. I wouldn't put Send your us. plans out there, though. The prince is right, your grace. Meaning, I wouldn't go to these houses to try to get 
alliances and be like, these are the plans. Are you in? I would just try to get the, you know, are you in before given plans? Even then, for me, it would be hard to trust that they mean what they say. Prince Gisaris will fly north. First to the area to see my mother's cousin, the Lady Jane Allen, and then to Winterfell to treat with Lord Craig and Stark for the support of the North. Prince Lucerys will fly south to Storm's End and treat with Lord Boros Baratheon. We must remind these lords of the oaths they swore. But I would say that I have the support of uh, the Sea Snake, is that what they call him? You know, because having the navy on your side is a big deal. It'd be like, this is the power we have, and we have this many dragons. Yeah, just show your. It's been your said power. that as Targaryens, we are closer to gods than to men. The Iron Throne puts us a touch closer, perhaps. And you go as messengers, not as warriors. You must take no part in any fighting. Swear it to me now. Mm. Into the eyes of the seven. Unless you're attacked. I swear it. I swear it. Unless mm. you're attacked, right? Dragons that he said was roosting on the island, or the if it's an island, the, the area. Is he trying to tame it? Can he have more than one dragon? Can he control more than one dragon at once? Did they like? get mad at each other or jealous or something if they both have like one master does he have to give up his other dragon for that one That's pretty much what I'm wondering thing is huge. I am Prince Isaris Valarian. I bring a message to Lord Boris from the Queen. Dragon. Son of Princess Rhaenyra Targaryen. Loboros. I brought you a message from my mother. Where's the bloody Maester? That guy looks familiar.
remind me of my father's oath. King Egon at least came with an offer. My swords and banners for a marriage pact. If I do as your mother bids, which one of my daughters will you wed? Boy. Uh, the middle one. My lord, I'm not free to marry. I'm already betrothed. So you come with empty hands. Wait! My lord strong. Did you really think that you could just fly about the realm trying to steal my brother's throne at no cost? I want you to put out your eye. Damn, you stuck a rock in there, huh? It's payment for mine. One will serve. No. Then you are craven as well as a traitor. Not here. Give me your eye! Or I will take it, boss! Not in my hall! The boy came as an envoy. I'll not have blood shed beneath my roof. Take Prince Lucellus back to his dragon. Now. You know damn well he's gonna jump on that giant dragon. And go after him. Maybe Damon come on his newly tamed dragon and fight him off? What luck, it's storming now too. Smaller, you have the advantage of agility. Use it. Yes, there you go, small spaces. Good thinking. Probably should have done that to the rider and not the drag. Not really gonna do much against the drag. They killed him. They killed the boy. And he lost control.
Damn, she lost another kid. In like the same day. Are you going to do something now? Are you going to fight back now? about a year ah wow I did not expect them to kill the kid I have to admit did not see that coming I honestly thought that Damon was gonna come with the with the giant ass dragon that he just tamed That's uh, one major person gone, right? Kind of. He was a dragon rider. That boy would still be alive if Princess. I'm not going to be able to remember her name. But you know who I'm talking about. If she would have done it. That boy would still be alive. Sorry, I'm going to think back to that a lot. Like, with everything that's going on, I don't know if I'm going to be able to put that out of my mind. <clears throat> um, Rhaenyra is very reluctant, or at least she was, to do anything. Even though, if she really believes that she is a rightful uh, heir to the throne, then... The act of them doing what they did by taking the throne is an act of war, right? It's treason. You got to act on it or you're weak in the first place. Uh, Damon is not reluctant. He wants to go. He already has plans drawn up. He was already thinking about it. <laughs> he He's ready to go. You just kind of want to see him... You want to see Rainier be like, okay, do your thing, you know. Uh, I don't remember uh, the prince with the eye patch's name. I know, I think it starts with an A. Also, it sounds similar to Aegon, but he looked like he was kind of horrified that his dragon ate that kid and his dragon so i mean i guess he lost control of the dragon yeah i wonder how allison is going to feel about that happening i mean she could be upset but what's she really going to do wow um i hope to see more like fighting and at least like the major start of a battle but i guess they wanted the episode to be about the first blow um it's great that she has uh the navy on her side i guess you could say they talked about they have that uh passage for trade and commerce blocked off they should be able to defend it 
with the dragons that they have. They have more dragons. So, I mean, it's going to be a fun season, too. I look forward to it. Uh, I'm going to decide whether or not to watch the original series in the meantime, the Game of Thrones Caesar, uh, series. I have to see. Uh, all right. Well, it's been great. Um, I really like the show, obviously. Uh, I didn't plan on, uh, to be honest, I didn't plan on liking it this much when I started watching it, especially with the first episode. I was like, all right, you know, it's it's something I can watch, but I didn't expect to really be into it, you know. But, hey, it happened. They, they got me. <laughs> uh and again, then again when they changed the actors i was like oh man i i was really into those actors and then they, they kept me in the story like i kind of transitioned to these actors being the people that i was watching before and they did a good job uh mostly the story is very well written great actors and actresses all together I mean, there's just a couple of hiccups in the story that got me, like, the whole princess coming through the floor thing, but not destroying any of them. And then the thing with uh, Sir Kristen, where the two guys, the one guy, uh, you know, the, the two guys that were together, the prince and from uh, Driftmark. Um, forgive me, I don't know his name, or I don't remember his name, but the guy that he was with at the time, uh, was like, oh, look at, look at how Kristen's standing there, he's, he looks upset or whatever, he must have given it to the princess, and now he's mad because the princess is getting married, that's why he's, he, you know, he, <laughs> He's got that look about him. And now you know his secret, and you can confront him with your secret. It, that was a major hiccup for me. I'm like, okay, he didn't gather that off of a, a look. For all you know, he could have uh, <laughs> shit his pants, and now he can't. He's stuck here on the watch, and he can't go anywhere until it's over, you know, and he has to sit and shit for the rest of the time. You know, that could be why he's he's got that look about him. But, anyway. Um, but, like I said, great story, great show. Love the show. Which makes me think that I'm really going to like the original Game of Thrones, too. <laughs> That's all from me on this for now, guys. Thanks for joining me. Bye.